Welcome back to Holly Folly TV. It's your host, Holly. Today we're going to be talking about Cardi B and her support slash sabotage of Normani's wild side single and the baby's apologies and pending cancellation. Let's begin with Cardi B. There's no easy way to say this. Cardi B sabotaged Normani's wild side single and it free falls 50 points. Yes, Cardi B, you're the reason for this. Because her music only drastically fell after you said what you said. Y'all, Cardi B started off supporting Normani's wild side single with she Cardi B's on as well. And because fans and other talkative entities on social media started dogging her out and saying she spoiled the song, she shouldn't be on it, should have been on the remix, Cardi B threw a whole fit threatening to remove her portion of the song and indirectly telling her fans to stop supporting Normani Wildside's song just a few days after its launch. And that's a killer for any new artist. That's the killer of Normani Wildside now heading down the charts currently at 43. Yeah, last I checked, it debuted at number 14 and was heading up. Now thanks to Cardi B, it's now at 43 heading down. And I know other factors are at play because this past Monday, the song literally disappeared off the chart and all streaming platforms and only reappeared after fans created a ish storm on Twitter asking, where is Normani's song? One fan wrote, at Cardi B, at Normani, what's this about? Did I play too much? I need answers. Which prompted Normani herself to respond with, WTF. Another fan chimed in. Same thing happened to me. But wait for this. This fan told it all, writing, Girl, we've been tagging you for over 24 hours. Your team told us they would fix it, but nothing has been fixed until now. Spotify and TikTok is also like this. We lost two tracking days. And many others chimed in with the same chorus song not available so what this means is normani's wild side has been missing from the chart and inaccessible on all streaming platforms for almost two days which is a lot of chances missed for a newly released song unless of course you're cardi b or Kanye west after fans uproar online getting the attention of normani cardi b and the streaming platforms the song then reappeared on the platforms and on the chart on August 3rd at number 83 and within hours moved up to number 23. What the hell is that all about? Now, already a lot was going on with Normani and her wild side song, starting with Camilla Cabello, Normani's former groupmate in Fifth Harmony, who chose to announce and share a snippet of her new song that was scheduled to be released on July 23rd. She released it on the same day Normani released hers. And if that wasn't bad enough, Jimmy Fallon's show canceled Normani's scheduled appearance on his show for the 20th, but allowed Camilla Cabello to perform. The hell? So not only is Normani backstabbed by Cardi B, but she was also blindsided by Camilla and Jimmy Fallon. Look at this, y'all. This was Cardi B supporting Normani on her wild side song when it launched. It's 8.59. I think we should leave. And okay. everybody go to YouTube right now. Go to YouTube right now. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm out. Everybody go to YouTube. Go to YouTube right now. I'm scared, dude. I love you. I love you too. Bye. I'm going to watch Bye. Wait, I don't mean to go. Now look at this. This is Cardi B tearing down Normani threatening to remove her portion of the song and indirectly telling her very large loyal followers to stop watching and supporting Normani's song. Cardi B wrote, Well, from this day forward, I won't promote or talk about the song and tell Normani team to release a version without my vocal. Yay, now your wish and desires came through. Make sure you stream it though. Don't have me making calls for no reason. Cardi, these people are not Normani. 
This will not affect them one way or the other. This ish will hurt Normani, and it has, big time. Cardi B wasn't even tagged on the original tweet, y'all, which means she went out of her way to see it. What is that? What is that, Cardi B? I was so happy to see you supporting Normani on a wild side launch, and now just like that, you switched a nerve. It wasn't Normani saying anything negative about you online. In fact, she told you how happy she was that you were able to make it to the venue and be on her wild side song. No, it's because you care. It's because you care, and I appreciate you. Like, you know, it took a lot for us to even just make this happen, and you fought for me. You believed in the record because you ride for me, and I really I appreciate that, and I love you. Yes. I love you. This is a huge backstabbing and a give and take back. We don't do that. It's 2021. Unacceptable. Listen, y'all. If we're honest, we know Cardi B's army of fans, the Bardi gang, and her overall clout is way bigger than Normani. You can ask pretty much anybody anywhere who is Cardi B, and they'll tell you. But if you ask who is Normani, many of them will stutter and have no clue who Normani is. And that's because Cardi B has a big personality and very controversial, while Normani is way more laid back than Cardi B and Normani is also pretty new to being a solo artist. Also, Normani is a pop singer, more so than an R&B singer. Yes, the group she's been in Fifth Harmony before leaving to go solo is a pop singing group. And Normani does shine as a pop artist. So in switching to R&B, she really needed all the push she could get to get this song up and running and staying running, taking her career much further than her motivation. You know what I mean? She needed Cardi B's clout. Heck, Cardi B even has presidential candidates coming on her platform talking to her about ish I'm sure she knows little to nothing about. But Cardi B has the following, like a gang for real for real. People who listen intent with her and are ready to do whatever the hell she says. So, of course she's going to be courted to get more eyes involved. But this was wrong, Cardi B. Very wrong. And I know you came back and apologized. Jacka, as my fans, I really don't want to do features because I want all my features to go on my album. But I, I'm doing features on songs that I believe on and I love and on artists that I love. Because, you know, I just, I got, I got pregnant, so it will slow down my album and everything. But doing some features with certain artists like Normani, um, not only do I like the song, but like I fell in love. <laughs> That's not like a piece. I fell in love with Normani and I fell in love and I fell, and I fell in love with her situation because I feel like she's such a talented person. She could dance, she could sing, she got the work ethic, so, um, you know, she just, I just feel like, you know, like, you know, she's a little younger, so she just needs a little bit more help with the industry stuff. And I feel like I've been putting my all um, behind this record, and she's been putting her all on this record. And I feel like my fans have been putting her, they all on their records. Like, I, I, I be waking up, and all I see is my fans promoting, promoting. And it hurts me when I get shit it on because I've been putting my own and my fans be putting my own. So it's like when I get shit it on, I don't even want to argue. I just be like, you know what? I just take my services somewhere else. But that's not fair. It's not fair to the artist. It's not fair to the artist and it's not fair to the people that actually enjoy it. But um, keep on streaming while outside because at the end of the day, the song is amazing. But the damage is already done. No Money Wild Side fell from 14 to 6 to 4 in like hours. And although there are other factors at play, you are the main reason it free fall this way. I'm going to give it to you. Y'all, I understand Cardi B's pregnant, hormones running high, and she was already a high, strong, sensitive person. But regardless of all that and the apology, the damage is already done. Sometimes it can be too late, and this is one of those times. The momentum was there, you squashed it. Look at the timeline. And now everything else started feeding off that negative energy you put on Normani's song. Now, as I said, there are other things at play behind the scenes that are affecting Normani's progress. 
like the sudden cancellation of Normandy's scheduled appearance on the Jimmy Fallon show, and then to be replaced by her arch rival and former groupmate Camila Cabello. What a shade and blatant disrespect. If you recall, the same day Normandy released her wild side song, Camila Cabello shared her new song too. And from what I see, it was intentional. It was meant to overshadow Normandy's launch, no doubt. Lots of forces have conspired behind the scenes to sabotage Normani, obviously. How can a song just suddenly drop 50 spots, then disappear from all the streaming platforms, then reappear at number 83 and quickly move to 23 all in a day? How is that even possible? Normani is being sabotaged, and she's being sabotaged by some higher powers in the music and entertainment industry. But I'm still holding Cardi B accountable because not only is she on the song, but she gave Normani her word and then, out of nowhere, pulled the rug from under her. And she did it at a very critical time. Which makes me wonder, is Cardi B secretly in on the sabotage from the inside? Does she know about it? Did she know all this was going to happen and played her part in ensuring it did happen? Just wondering, because she does have the connection and all of this seems way too convenient. Normani didn't deserve this. This Wild Side song is pretty dope. And don't mention the video because the video is epic. I was expecting Wild Side to win video of the year or at least be a strong contender for it. But now it's looking like I can kiss that thought goodbye. Thank you, Cardi B. A real backstabber. <sighs> now moving on, the baby. Parties, concerts, festivals, Everybody's dropping the baby. <laughs> Music Midtown dropped him. Austin City Limits dropped him. Day in Vegas dropped him. Lollapalooza dropped him. And a few other brands and engagements have all dropped him thus far. And something tells me this is just the beginning. Y'all, like I said in my last video, I am tired of these celebrity apologies. These people talk out of turn so much, saying whatever the hell they want to say and then having to backtrack when the backlash start coming and the money situation start looking funny. Deals falling off, endorsement dropping left and right. Then they come out apologizing, pretty much on their knees begging, saying they're sorry when they know they ain't sorry at all. Why do y'all do it? Why do you speak on controversial things at all? And why speak from your heart and then apologize? Cost it what it will or shut up. Stop apologizing. This happens all the time. So by now, all celebrities should know what they can and cannot say. And just don't say things they'll have to apologize for later. Just don't. I'm sick of it. And I know I'm not the only one. Free speech is not really free. If something is free, there's nothing attached to it. Well, free speech has consequences attached to it. So it's not really free at all, which means that people who have nothing to lose can say whatever the hell they want about whomever or whatever. But people who have something to lose better not exercise no free speech, or if they do, then suffer the consequences. In many other countries, there is no free speech when it comes to the government and how the governments run those countries, and the people know that. Whether you're a celebrity, a regular citizen, or a visitor, the government lets you know, better watch what the hell you say. <laughs> but here in America, there is also no free speech, but the people don't know that. The government lets everyone believe they can say pretty much whatever they want about the government and how they run America, or speak on whatever other topics they choose. And if you're a regular citizen who is not dependent on the government or corporate America for anything, then you might get away with it. But if you're a celebrity, or hold any important job like a politician, then you also better watch what the hell you say. <laughs> and there are two main things that everyone, especially in America, should know not to speak negatively on by now. Can anyone tell me what those two things are? Yeah, go ahead, write it in the comments. You don't know? Okay, here's a hint. The first one is J dash W S and the other is L dash dash T Q 
Q. You got it, yes! Those two things are off limit. If you're gonna speak on any of those two things, make sure what you're saying is positive or just don't speak on it at all. Or speak on it and face the consequences, which could mean you losing everything. It's just that simple. Obey this rule and save yourself the fake ass apologies. So the baby should have known better when he went on that rant, which was so unnecessary to me, and say all the things he said. Here's a reminder of what he said. If you didn't show up today with HIV AIDS or other sexually transmitted diseases that will make you die in two to three weeks, put your cell phone light up. Ladies, if your blanket is smell like water, put your cell phone light up. And fellas, if you ain't sucking blankety blank in the parking lot, put your cell phone light up. <laughs> Yeah, and here he is saying it. You didn't show up today with HIV, AIDS, any of them here, the sexual transmitted diseases that'll make you die two, three weeks, put a cell phone lighting it up. Lady, if your pussy smell like water, put a cell phone lighting it up. Fellas, lights up. Fellas, if you ain't sucking nigga dick in the parking lot, put your cell phone lights up. Now here is his first apology or clarifier. What me and my friend do at the live show, it don't concern you, blankety on the internet or you bitter blankety on the internet. It's not your business. You know what I'm saying? What I do at the live show is for the audience at the live show. It will never translate correctly to somebody looking at a little five, six second clip from the crib on your phone. It just won't work like that. But regardless of what all you blankety talking about on the internet and twisting up my blankety word, me and all my fans at the show, we turned the blankety up. And on and on he went. Actually, it was one of the worst apology clarifier. Whatever the hell that was, it was horrible. Now, here is the second apology. Social media moves so fast that people want to demolish you before you even have the opportunity to grow, educate, and learn from your mistakes. As a man who has had to make his own way through very difficult circumstances, having people I know publicly working against me, knowing that what I need was education on these topics and guidance, has been challenging. I appreciate the many people who came to me with kindness, who reached out to me privately to offer wisdom, education, and resources. That's what I needed and it was received. I want to apologize to the LGBTQ plus community for the hurtful and triggering comments I made. Again, I apologize for my misinformed comments about HIV AIDS and I know education on this is important. Love to all, God bless. Did he really not know? Anyway, the long and short is this. The baby should have held his ground. He should not have apologized. You know what? Backtrack. Let's go back to the beginning. The baby should not have said what he said. If he knew he would apologize when the hammer came crashing down. He shouldn't. The baby, this is gonna hurt your brand big time if you're not totally canceled. Your brand persona is don't give a F persona, which your fans love. So now saying what you mean and then apologizing is a huge punk move and you punked out. And you best believe this apology won't be the only thing the baby will have to do to prove he's sorry and gets why he was wrong for saying what he said. Gonna have to prove it. And that may mean pulling off an Eminem. <laughs> yes. He too spoke on this taboo subject and had to apologize and show he's really sorry. Look at his face. You can see the discomfort. Now, Boyce Watkins wants us to picture the baby holding hands with Lil Nas X at the VMAs. <laughs> OMG, y'all, this is messy. But that's all I have for you today. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. Do you think the baby apology is enough or he'll be further humiliated? Should the baby have apologized? And is this the end of the baby as we know him? How do y'all feel about Normani getting cancelled from the Jimmy Fallon show, but Camilla Cabello got her slapped? Do y'all think Cardi B has a part to play Normani's wild side demise? And what do you think about the baby saying what he said and then apologizing? So many questions. Let me know your thoughts. 
and don't forget to hit the like button if you like the video. Share if you care, subscribe for more, and ring that bell so you know when I upload another epic video. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the comments. Bye! Bye.